On this unbelievably quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the classic dead mouse pluck in serum in seconds. Let's jump right into it. So right now I have serum pulled up and I have this MIDI from dead mouse's track, Imaginary Friends. So I'm going to play it. So here's how you make the classic pluck. First thing, of course, pull up serum. I'm going to initialize a preset. But this is kind of the, uh, the default of serum. Turn on oscillator B. And then I'm going to go to oscillator A, go to unison, turn it up to 16. So now it's going to sound like this, right? Then I'm going to lower the detune just a bit. So the detune and blend are going to look like this kind of, almost doing a V. So it's going to look like this. I'll do it when playing it. So already you can kind of see it forming. It's a lot easier than most people think to make. Next, I'm gonna go to envelope two. I think it's easier to do with the settings I'm gonna use. I'm gonna bring it down like this. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, just kind of like that, it's fine. I'm then gonna turn on the filter and put on A and B. So make sure these two are both selected. Now when I play it, almost there. Next, I'm gonna take this envelope I just made and bring it onto the cutoff. So I'm gonna do this and this again, that's it. That's actually it. Now I'm going to eyeball this a bit, just kind of use my ears a little bit as well to kind of figure out the exact fine tuning I want. But now when I play it, right? So again, just the overall amount I want to reach for the cutoff when it comes to the envelope or the total cutoff itself. That easy. Now there is a couple things he does do sometimes to kind of add a little more flair to it. So one, I might EQ this, right? Because I don't really want any of that low end. Or maybe I do, I guess it depends. Let me do this. So I might just do that, right? Low key EQ. And then maybe add in a delay. So I'll bring this in. Make it very subtle though. Mm. Then I might add in some light reverb too. Again, this is more like the icing on the cake, so to speak. Then I might do something like this. All right, and then of course, like I said, the biggest thing is now adjusting the cutoff filter. And then the overall amount of the cutoff, the envelope is affecting. And one last cool little trick I'll show you that Dead Mouse does on his builds. And in this case, in Imaginary Friends, he does this on the build, is he adjusts the detune. So by detuning it more, it creates a suspenseful effect. So it looks if I go here, uh, right? I'm gonna go to configure and then click detune. I could do it on A and B if I want. I'll just do it on both, why not? I'm gonna X this out, turn off configure, show automation. I'm gonna go here, so this looks like actually on the build point, and I'm gonna raise this up. And what, the, what this does, it creates this kind of suspenseful effect. Actually, I'm gonna turn this up so you can hear it more. Right? And then it drops. And then lastly, I can obviously adjust the cutoff filter uh, by going to configure, cut off here. Maybe just leave this one here, I guess, if I want. Right, and then... And then we do it. Right. 